From the company that's known for their Overwatch 2 PvE, <laughs> just kidding, and maybe some other stuff, comes the sequel to one of their most beloved legacy titles that finally lets you experience what it's like to be caught in the middle of a messy divorce. But hey, maybe we'll get two Christmases out of this. Diablo 4. Get ready to loot your way through the latest sequel to a game that defined the action RPG genre in the 90s, then didn't bother to update that definition for nearly 30 years, as Diablo 4 goes back to its brutal roots by making everything way gorier and even more depressing, just the way Diablo fans like it. Then return to the furious clicking that you know and love as well, that old school Diablo enthusiast wrists probably never recovered from. After all the times I've done it, my wrist sounds like a cement mixer. As you repeat the never ending endeavor of making number go up. Look, I might not know what I'm doing with my real life, and I might be disassociating while I play this, but those big numbers tell me that I'm doing something right, and you can't put a price tag on something like that, except for the $28 I'm going to spend on the skin. Sheesh, Blizzard, I know you got a theme going, but I'm literally going to have to sell my organs to afford this. Embody the Wanderer and their extremely awkward walk cycle. As you're thrown into a multi-planar pissing match between heaven and hell once again, where Hatred's hot daughter Lilith, no, not that one. Getting colder. No one is going to know who that is. All right, close enough. Is released from captivity and follow her path of destruction around Sanctuary as she casually roams through the countryside, taking in the sights and murdering everyone there in a story that basically amounts to a lady taking a European road trip to find herself after a bad breakup, except that she's the devil. And it's directed by Clive Barker. Such pleasure. Such pain. Lilith is a strong, independent demon and can bring forth Apocalypse herself. Thank you very much. Roam the quaint Dark Ages countryside, which I guess means things are going to be extremely hard to see as you squint your way through pitch black dungeons, cellars, and gross skin caves in search of the next objective, but more likely the next side quest or event to sidetrack your attention as you gravitate towards each skirmish like a moth to a bug zapper, hacking away at the different types of random events in hopes that you'll do it well enough to get stuff that isn't garbage, until you realize that you've already played the game for like 15 hours, and despite the fact you're level 40, haven't even gone through Act 2 yet, in a game that's less a test of your skill and more a test of your ever-shortening attention span. Because if there's one thing that hasn't changed in 30 years, it's your non-stop meandering around and getting absolutely nothing done. In the game, I was, I was talking about the game. Return to the point and click and click and click gameplay of Diablo as you choose your build from a series of different skills allowing you to play as you want, then immediately refund your skills because you put one point into the wrong slot or because, you know, you have commitment issues. Then spice up your build with legendaries and powers you'll find exploring dungeons that you'd mix and match to find the perfect combination. If you weren't just following a guide from some random YouTuber, I would trust Devil Anus 420 with my very life until you eventually bash your way into the endgame and unlock Diablo 4's true form, endless grinding as you hit up world events, world bosses, and nightmare dungeons, so you can slowly unlock more Paragon Tree and re-roll for the perfect item stats. All so you can just do more of that, I guess. Or try to PvP and get your demonic ass handed to you by someone with even less of a life somehow. But hey, at least you won't look like a medieval circus clown while doing it, because they unlocked the transmog from the very beginning this time. Now I'm styling while I hit the gritty. Realism. So put on that wrist brace and get ready to strain those ligaments for a return to form that really brings you back to the good old days. Except for the part where your friends would say you hacked stone of Jordans and then killed you right outside of town. <sighs> no one can replace those childhood traumas. I mean, I mean memories. Now, if I want to revisit that feeling of betrayal, I can just go back to playing immortal. Suck a show, Ted. Starring. Going Kratos. Just playing Vampire Survivor. Not so secret furries, Robert Smith fans, people who own real life anime swords, Dickard Kane, Knives Chow, DJ Khaled, 
Darth Souls Malgus, Pain in the Inarius, and Mother Infernal, Lord of Flesh. Eat, flay, love. It's pretty weird that the story is actually good in this Diablo. It's like playing hours of cup and ball and interrupting that occasionally to watch two minutes of a movie. Comment below on what you want to hear in my epic voice and check out these other epic gaming videos on GameSpot. I respect every single Spider-Man in here. I've got the nose of a bloodhound, eyes of a hawk, ears of a rabbit, and raw, macho spirit. So it's the same type of stand as my Star Platinum. Your sword is big, but you lack the spiky hair of a true hero.